Right now we'll start with the first two menus. Okay, now these are relatively simpler, not not simpler or difficult. Rather, they have more to do with the start of the presentation, really. So once you start with the presentation, then working on it, then you will be inserting designs and all that. So meanwhile, yeah, okay. Let's click on File menu. Out here you can read Home. So when you click on Home, this is the page that you will happen to see. Now these are the um, different presentation slides that you are seeing here. These are the recent ones and these are the pinned ones. Now we have not pinned anything. So uh, if you want to click on the new blank presentation, you can click on this. If I click on this, then a new blank presentation opens up. So now that's the presentation that we have. We opened a new presentation. I clicked on File. I clicked on New Blank Presentation, and then this particular slide, uh, presentation slide, open up. Now, when you click on any new presentation slide, it will always show you the main slide, the title slide. That's how it is. That's how the default setting of Microsoft PowerPoint presentation has been. Then you click on New. When you click on New, again it will show you a blank presentation, and uh, these are the additional search options that it provides us with. So if you want, you can pick any of these options also. And if you don't want that, you can always select a blank presentation. So if you want, you can select this also. Let's select Madison, suppose. So it's showing us which of these Madisons do you want to solve. Now this is a title layout, okay. This is what? This is the, uh, another title layout. This is the third one. And there are more images if you want. And come here and that's how. You can also, uh, this is another kind of title layout that you can have for Atlas. So these are the different um, themes and the presentations that you can use, templates and themes that you can use or, you know, uh, if you want to open a fresh blank or you can also open a fresh blank presentation. So and then you click on open. So when you click on open, it will take you to your desired location. So in this PC, if you click select this PC, that's out here, you click and you come on the desktop. And there are presentations out here that you can see. When you click open, you can open any new uh, existing presentation that you want to work on. You click on info. So what's the info that we are seeing here? That's the Windows author. It gives you the properties, related dates, protect presentation. You can inspect presentation. You can also manage the presentation. You can save this presentation slide also. If you want to save it, you can save it as. Save as what? I go on the PC, I'll click desktop. Now I'm saving this as what, not presentations too. I'll save this as um, tutorial presentation. So since this is a video or a tutorial that I'm presenting for y'all, I'm saving it as tutorial presentation slide and I click save. So when I come back here on the desktop, I can see that presentation slide over here. So I'll close this window. I'll return to the presentation slide. Now out here again, um, as we see this, what we also do is uh, you can save the file and like, you know, you, know, you can also notice that we have the additional features here such as print and share and export. And these are always there really. They are part of standard software that we have. But let's click on more. You click on more, you can also select account, feedback and options. Let's click on options. What are the options Microsoft presentation slide can give you? So out here, this is giving you proofing if you want. You can select the proofing, you can select the save. So it is giving you customization about how you can your document can be saved. Your documents will be get saved. Language settings also provided, you know, uh, match with Microsoft Windows English prefer. Now, uh, they have like you know um, uh, US English okay if you want you can also select other English choices of United Kingdom or Australia or India or whatever and uh, then there is ease of access when you click on advanced it will show you cut copy paste generally if we retain these uh, yeah there are add-ins that, that that should be of interest to you so out here uh, there are no active applications okay there are no active applications that you can see in here but yes there are times when you get uh, office add-ins for Microsoft presentation slides and yeah, that they are interesting. If I click on my PowerPoint add-ins and I click go, there are no add-ins as you can see here. So we cannot install any. So let's come back here on the file and uh, if you want to click print, you can select print. 
and then it will tell you which type of the printer settings you can see over here and uh, these are the different print settings that are there microsoft print provides like you know they have inbuilt features of converting directly into the pdf format so that saves you quite an effort you can also export it so if you wish to export it you can export it as what create a video or create an animated gif package presentation for cd you can create a handout out of it you can change the file type also you can also create a pdf or an xps out of it so if i select pdf or xps it, this is what it will happen uh, the presentation slide will automatically be converted into powerpoint presentation and then you click publish so that this particular presentation will get converted into a pdf format and then thereafter you have a uh, share you can also share it online okay share it with people you can save it to cloud if you want to save it as an email you can send it as an attachment as a pdf as an xps format you can also send it as an internet or a fax and you can present it online okay so if you want to uh, share it online with any of your participants that is also possible features that are covered in the file menu and um, when we speak of the other menus um, help menu is also relatively simple so what i want to do is i'll cover only file and help for you all in this particular video it's easier for you all so when you click on help menu out here you click on help so the help window opens over here and uh, then whatever your requirement or whatever your query you can always type in here suppose like you know um, insert pictures so you select insert pictures it will work in here so this is what these are the options that will give you okay insert images and icons or more in microsoft 365 or whatever uh, version you could be using this is microsoft 2021 powerpoint 2021 and of course if you want you can also click on contact support so they have the contact details here it's loading of course yeah, how can we help so you can um, tap in here and then the support will come up over here so again insert pictures and then you can click so how to insert connecting link so it gives you an option like uh, uh, as to what is it that you are looking for how to insert a check mark supposedly okay so just searching for self-help articles so right now it's giving you a choice and an option here go to insert symbol click on show me in the font drop down list select wingdings to select check mark and select insert and all that so this is how you can work using contact support there is also feedback and there is also show training if you click on show training it might provide you with videos and other options also yeah see they have windows trainings a quick start guide the slides and layouts so these are the different options that are available for show training and um, so this is what we have as far as the help menu is concerned 